Moscow and the uh, entire Soviet KGB took two strategy for um, uh, treating uh, United States and Canada, which were uh, major enemy for um, Soviet KGB, especially for Soviet Ukraine KGB. Um, uh, one strategy is collecting of intelligence, traditional uh, strategy, collecting and analyzing intelligence uh, information. And second uh, uh, part of uh, this operation was so-called active measures, активные мероприятия, operations uh, uh, which uh, tried to discredit enemy, to provoke enemy, to compromise enemy. Uh, for example, um, uh, in the KGB struggle against uh, Ukraine diaspora, they try to present all diaspora, including people from academic centers, from Harvard, from Columbia University, from Alba University, um, uh, of Alberta and Edmonton, as, uh, uh, you know, Ukrainian fascists, people who collaborated with Nazis. So, uh, for this uh, operation, they used uh, American and Canadian left, like Peter Kravchuk, or Petro Kravchuk, and other communists, uh, KGB through different channels, including uh, Soviet embassy, provided them with uh, compromising material about uh, members of Ukraine diaspora in Canada and the United States, uh, about, for example, Omelian Pritsak, director of uh, Center uh, of Ukrainian Studies, uh, Harvard Ukrainian Research Institute, uh, presenting all these people as collaborators uh, with uh, uh, Nazi, uh, during Nazi occupation of Ukraine. They sent archival material and they organized special campaigns even in the press, in media, um, giving uh, documentary films um, and some books were published uh, using uh, Canadian communist and American communist support about um, this uh, Ukrainian Nazi collaboration in the war. Moreover, the Soviets uh, not only provide this document, they uh, engage other groups, like, uh, for example, um, groups of um, uh, American uh, Jewish community uh, presenting uh, Ukrainian diaspora as not only uh, Nazi collaborators, but also anti-Semites, you know, fascists. Thank you.